As you all know, uh, the Devils and, and Will Butcher agreed to terms on a two-year entry-level contract yesterday. At this point, we'll open it up to some questions for Will. Just uh, please identify yourself before asking him a question. Go ahead. Hi, Will. It's Steve Cangelosi with MSG. Can you just tell me what the tipping point was in your decision? Why the Devils? Yeah. Um, for me, it was uh, kind of hit it off with Coach Hines. Um, I really liked I think he's a sound hockey mind, sound coach. It seemed like a great fit on how they want to play. Um, you know, and they saw me being a, being a vital role to what, what they want to do there. So I think just that, and it kind of reminded me uh, a little bit of how I, how, how we, how we're going to play here, there in New Jersey is just, uh, kind of reminded me of playing college hockey for Coach Montgomery a little bit. So a lot of, uh, kind of comfortability with the systems and that sort of thing and kind of see the game the same way. So I think just kind of hitting off of Coach Hines and, uh, seeing the facilities and, um, just the tour in general just kind of, uh, made my decision uh, to sign with New Jersey. Hi, Will. Chris Ryan from uh, the Star Ledger. First off, congratulations uh, on finally landing with the team and uh, signing your first contract. Um, you. When you were discussing with teams over the last week and a half, uh, just what was that process like for you and just uh, how, did, how did, what was it like just coming about the decision to pick New Jersey? Yeah, um, I think, you know, it was very uh, – it was kind of – it was like the rock star tour. I had to go everywhere, and you know my my agents were great. Uh, the Bartlett's they were unbelievable. I worked really hard to you know help me look at depth charts, kind of get a feel for what I want, kind of r- line me up with the right people. Um, you know I had the four teams that I had, which was uh, Las Vegas, uh, New Jersey, Buffalo, and uh, L.A. And uh, um, they're all great organizations. It couldn't couldn't have made a bad pick in any one of them. Um, you know, and uh, I took visits there, and uh, like I said, it was kind of kind of whirlwind. It was hard to hard to focus on what really mattered, which was uh, training and getting back to skating. So that's why I kind of took my decision longer to to make, um, just because I had to work around it at the DU Pro Camp um, and stuff like that outside of it, just to stay focused on you know what what got me there in the first place. So, um, like I said, my agents were great, and. Uh, Kind of same answer before going with New Jersey. Just thought it was the best fit for me as a player to grow and develop, not just for two years, but uh, long term wise too. Will, it's uh, Matt Larkin here with the Hockey News. Um, when you look at a team like New Jersey, every building just had the first overall pick. Um, did you look at that that depth chart and see an opportunity to maybe climb quicker and, and get to the NHL quicker than with some other teams? Um, yeah, yes and no. I think uh, one thing that was very appealing to me is. I looked at the type of play that player I am and how I play, and then looking at the forwards that New Jersey has with the young talent coming in. You got Heischer, Taylor Hall, Adam Henrique, and you got older veteran guys on the back end like Andy Green and uh, Johnny Moore, and you know guys who've been around the league and played. Uh, it kind of was the right fit for me. I wanted to be able to, you know, play really well, try to make the team out of camp. And if I had that opportunity, then I've learned from the older guys, but also be able to play with the younger guys um, who I get the puck to, play fast, up-tempo game, because that just caters well to the type of game that, you know, I play. So I think just that combination, everything that they have going um, in the right direction in New Jersey was very, and is very appealing to me. Thanks, Will. Hey, Will, yep. it's uh, Greg Wyshynski with Yahoo Sports. Uh, two questions. First off, do you prefer the left side or the right side? And then, uh, secondly, I've been reading some criticisms of, of your uh, your size and speed insofar as being an NHL defenseman, and I was wondering how you answer those criticisms. Yeah. Uh, first off, um, honestly, I last two seasons at Denver, I had to play the right side, and I, I, I enjoyed playing the right side. I was learning new ways and learning new things uh, just because we had six left-shot defensemen in college, so it was kind of like somebody's got to play the right, and I was like, yeah, I'll play for sure. My coach just felt most comfortable putting me there, so I was just like, yeah. Um, I don't have a preference, rather. I think it's more natural, obviously, to play just on your, your forehand side, but again, I don't don't have a preference. Whatever the coaching staff wants me or sees me in, that's what I'll go with. Um, and then to answer your other question, um, you know, I may, might not be the fastest guy or the biggest guy out there, uh, but I, I like to pride myself in thinking that I think the game fast. Um, you know, I use my use my brain to be fast in the sense I try to anticipate plays and just try to use my hockey smarts um, to help me be a step quicker than other guys and see things happen before they actually happen. And that's what I, you know, I try to try to watch guys who are similar around the league to do that. And um, it's, 
I think it's worked for me so far, and it's you know it's one of my strengths, and I'm going to keep catering to my strength to um, you know try to make try to make the big team.